Hi everybody, welcome back. I want to do a second video on something I did several days ago, and that was a video about a long lost subclass of wizard called the Illusionist. Now, if you've been in D&D for decades, <clears throat> back in like the mid 70s, the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules came out. Now, in the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Player's Handbook, if you looked under Wizard, you could find a little subclass called Illusionist. So those of you out there that are old enough may remember this. Well, there was maybe a half a page of information on the Illusionist. And then for whatever reason, it was lost in future editions. It was just deleted. Now, I know if you look under the Wizard class today, there's like an Illusionist pathway. But that is not the same thing as this right here. This was its own unique subclass all to its own. So I decided I would take the little bit of information from the advanced rules. And it was like a half a page of information on the illusionist, hardly anything. And I brought it over to 5e rules and brought it out to 45 pages information. So I brought this up to date just as best as possible and then expanded on it. That way it actually looks like something you will see in the current player's handbook. So if you go on to the DMs Guild, right, a lot of you are probably familiar with the webpage DMs Guild. It's where information on D&D &D is traded and sold and so on down the line. So this is the PDF that I've uploaded there. So there's just a couple of pages with some inf intro information. And if you look in the player's handbook, when you look under a class, you'll see a little description. And then, of course, here's that table that you're all familiar with, where it gives you level proficiency bonuses, special features they're going to pick up. And, of course, if they're a spellcaster, cantrips and spell slots. So these spell slots were the only thing found back in the advanced rules. I've added an enormous amount of information to this, so I just hope you like it. Let's just see what's in some of this. Won't go over all 45 pages, but let's see what we got. So under that table in the player's handbook, you see this exact same stuff. Class features, hit points, proficiencies, and so on down the line. So I set it up just as you would expect to see it in the 5e rules. So now it ought to be looking familiar to you. So I entered just the basic information right here, just like you see on all the classes. Gave you some of the new things, like I added Arcane Recovery to it. I know that's currently found with Wizards, but it didn't exist back when the Illusionist was around. So after that, <clears throat> I go over each one of these special abilities that's gained. You know, these classes pick up something special at most levels. Well, that's what's covered. So in addition to all that... I added illusionist traditions. In other words, particular pathways. You know, like if you're a rogue, you could follow the assassin path, or if you want to be a partial spell caster, there's a second one for that, and so on down the line. Well, I created four of these illusionist tradition pathways. So again, that takes it into 5e rules also. Really expands what was originally there. So there's a little brief discussion on what you'll pick up at each level and so on down the line. And then you see these pathways discussed. So the first one here was the Defender Illusionist, just to give you an example of how these work. Well, you can see they get an expanded spell list if they follow this path. They get a special ability to help themselves in allies called Haze Allies at level 2, Clear Vision at 5, True R at 9, and so on down the line. And then the next pathway follows, just like you see in the Player's Handbook. So all that's covered just as you would expect to see. And then let's look a little at the spells. Now, since Illusionist are a subclass of Wizard, some of their spells are the same as you see for a Wizard in the 5e Rules Player's Handbook. But a lot of these spells were unique to the Illusionist. I can't believe that even if they were going to do away with the subclass, why would they get rid of all these spells? So there are going to be a lot of spells here that you may not have ever seen before. So what I did, I took these spells and just completely rewrote them and brought them up to 5e rules. So if you look here, you can see their cantrips. And their cantrips, or nobody's cantrips even existed, until in 85, Gary Gygax wrote a book called Unearthed Arcana. That was really the first expansion rule book for a particular set of rules, you know, whatever edition it was. And that's the first place I remember ever seeing the cantrips. So we have a handful of cantrips for the illusionist. And then you see the spells. And again, some of these you'll recognize but some of these are completely unique. I threw in some other information at the end. But just to show you, you get to the spells, and there you go. 
They're just as you'd expect to see in the 5e rules. A little brief description at the top with the basic information and then exactly what it does. So if you're interested in playing the illusionist, and I always thought this was the coolest and funnest class, you'd say subclass of wizard, to play. These guys, in my opinion, are really powerful at the lower levels, and I think the wizard kind of surpasses them at the higher, but it's just sort of a matter of opinion. But these guys get some amazing abilities, which are unique to it. You're not going to see them anywhere else. And again, I built that stuff into this to bring them up to current rules. So if you go to the DMs Guild, you want to look at this, just type in the search bar, The Illusionist, it'll pop right up. Now, I put it up for $4.95. This is my first time to fool with DM's Guild. I've never used it before. You see basically information up there that's anywhere from free to up $30, $40. just depends on what it is. So I took this subclass, took it from a half page to $45, and I put it up for $4.95. If you're familiar with DM's Guild and that's a bit high, tell me right there. I don't want to highball it where nobody's going to want it. I can definitely bring it back down. So take a look at this and look at the video that I did before this one. And I give a lot more information, I even show what was shown in the old original edition. And I should say edition where this came out, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and take a look at it. I hope you like it. If you got some questions or comments, throw them out at the bottom right there. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Until next time, good luck and good gaming.